video about um, about the Magpies playing AC Milan. It has been a terrific match um, today. Really tough match for for Newcastle. We're going to do a recap real quick, but we're going to specifically talk about that game in particular. It was a tough game. I would say probably uh, the toughest game, hardest game in today's lineup. I mean, you you know, Barcelona won by a mile. Uh, Atletico Madrid, really tough game with Lazio. You know, they, they, they had all those matches, but just Newcastle with AC Milan was just really, really, really tough. Um, a lot of people are going to say that Newcastle didn't perform well. I mean, could be. I can give you that. But I saw something else that I haven't been seeing in the past few matches in the Premier League. I have been seeing something different, even though we got outplayed in the first I would say first 20, 30 minutes of the game. I don't know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you think uh, was happening tonight. Uh, and I did see that. Of course, AC Milan really went at Newcastle. However, I saw a different thing. I saw an attitude. I saw personality. I saw everything that I've been wanting to see in Newcastle this season so far that I haven't seen uh, in the Premier League. And that is something really positive to take away. These are dirty matches. These are ugly matches. These are tough, grinding type of matches that you're going to see in the Champions League, and you have to be able to, to get that point that is so desired. I mean, really, if you think about it from the score's perspective, Newcastle United got what they wanted. A simple point that's going to, like Eddie Howe said in his press conference, that later on down the line is going to be a very good, valuable point. Uh, however, when you go to St. James's Park, it's going to be a different story. That stadium is going to be rocking. The fans are going to be crazy about the Magpies, and they're going to have to perform better to be able to get some wins at home. At home is when Newcastle needs to get the wins. That's the, the St. James's Park is going to be the temple for you for Newcastle if they want to advance in the group stages. So when it comes to statistics, I mean, obviously, actually, in, in parts of the game, Newcastle had the ball more than AC Milan. AC Milan really went downhill after the 30th minute of the game, in my opinion. In the second half, they tried at the end. However, they really it, things really balanced it, uh, themselves. Newcastle really went at not necessarily pressuring, not necessarily looking for the win per se. However, we had a few chances that I'm going to say Newcastle need to take advantage of in uh, when they create those opportunities. Uh, so you, going through the stats will be pointless. Now, the a lot of people are criticizing Tonali, and maybe he wasn't ready to play against his, uh, his former team, a team that he is a fan of. Maybe not, but... Are we really going to criticize Eddie Howe for putting a player that cost over 50 million pounds, putting him in the lineup, somebody that we know that he needed technically in other any, any other circumstance needed to play? Are we really going to criticize him for that? Um, I don't think so. Right. I think I think we've got better things to worry about now when it comes to the four, the other matches that play today. I'm going to give you a, a little a little bit of, a, of the rundown fan uh, against Celtic. Feyenoord wins that one. Red card, two red cards for Celtic. Just impossible to win. Of course, Atletico Madrid and Lazio staying 1-1. Really ugly game. Ugly, ugly game. Atletico Madrid is not doing well at all. So they need to do something else. PSG beating Borussia Dortmund 2-0. That's going to be a really interesting match right there. Interesting. Um, those are, are, you know, the teams that we need to beat. PSG number one. Uh, I don't think that they have what it takes to win the Champions League, but we'll see what happens. They have to come to St. James's Park, and when they come home, that's when the Magpies need to take over. Young boys losing to Leipzig 3-1 at Manchester City started really ugly and ended up turning the, the game around against a poor Red Star. Um, you know, City, we were messing around in the chat and, and, and making fun of some City fans, but we knew that City was going to, if they wanted to, it's probably one of the few teams that if they want to, they can take over the game and beat you against these smaller teams. You know, you know but they're, they're, they're one of the few that can actually do that. Barcelona beating Antwerp 5-0. Joao, Joao Felix scoring goals, doing his thing. And that's going to be, that's got to hurt uh, Atletico Madrid's eyes to watch Joao Felix uh, 
success at Barcelona so far. And then um, as far as Champions League, that is it. Tomorrow we have more matches, and I'm sure tomorrow we will do uh, more uh, another video review of the Champions League. Tomorrow, Real Madrid, you got Arsenal, PSV, Sevilla, Lens. Real Madrid, Union Berlin, Braga, Napoli, Benfica, Salzburg, Real Sociedad and Internazionale de Milano. So we're going to be on it. We're going to be on it. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening, for watching to Top FC Radio here. My name is Chris Rodriguez. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see.